Order of the Templars of Sigma, universally known as the Witch Hunters, is an organization dedicated to the eradication of heretics, be they warlocks, witches, sorcerers, fortune tellers, necromancers, worshippers of the dark gods, deviants, mutants, blasphemers, sinners, utterers of profanities, servants of demons, or composers of corrupting music. It is wise to remember that the practice of magic in all its forms is deemed a most heinous crime in the Empire. Death by fire is the prescribed punishment for this particular heresy. The most dangerous of all of these heretics are the followers of the Chaos Gods. Of all enemies of Sigma, they are the most abhorrent. The destruction of Mordheim has fired the witch hunters with a new and irresistible sense of purpose. The crusade also pits them into the same arena as their old enemies, the so-called Sisters of Sigma. Those loathsome, demon-worshipping, she-heretics whose very existence is a vile affront to the majesty of Sigma. The witch hunters rejoice that their crusade against widespread corruption has been vindicated. Now they are ready to complete Sigma's holy purpose by destroying his enemies within the ruins of the city itself. Stand back in the name of Sigma! <laughs> Hey good folks, my name is Leif and I want to welcome you to my channel called Devs and Dice. Today I'm going to show you some of the steps I took to create my Witch Hunter Warband for Mordheim. I want to get as many people as possible into Mordheim. This might seem kind of daunting and so on, but I'm here to answer hopefully most of the questions you might have. Such as tell you where you can find good minis, share a little bit about how I assembled and painted my warband, and finally show them on the tabletop. So what do you say? Let's get to it. Looking at my collection, I already had some nice minis for a Witch Hunter warband. These included some Empire Flagellants, Handgunners, and Greatswords, but also some Ghost Archipelago Crewmen for Frostgrave. I was missing a warrior priest, but I remembered Highland Miniatures had a nice one, so I printed him out. Some other good suggestions for minis are Frostgrave Soldiers 1 and 2. And of course, as mentioned, Highland Miniatures has an entire Witch Hunter warband. You can also get nice STLs from the Victus. And in my search, I also found this awesome halfling Witch Hunter group from Esipion. When it came to assembly, I started with my Hexbane Hunters. These are push fit models, so they're quite easy to put together. Me, I personally prefer to always use plastic glue, so I know I get an excellent bond. When it came to the Warrior Priest, I printed him out and honestly, I did the supports myself and it worked quite nicely. I also decided to actually print out a bunch of scenic bases. This because the Hexbane Hunters had nice bases and I wanted the rest of my warband to have somewhat consistent look on their bases. And as you can see, they printed out perfectly fine on the first try and everything. In regards to the warrior priests, I had a little bit of a hard time seeing all of the details simply because of the finish of the resin. So I decided to glue them up and as soon as possible get some primer on them. And as you can see here, it's hard to tell the difference. But before that, I started with my flagellants. And weird question, do you call it flagellants or flagellants? Tell me in the comments down below, please. These were actually my favorite models to glue together because you can mix and match whatever parts you want. Some minis from Ghost Archipelago were used as my zealots. And here we have the collection. First we have the Witch Hunter Captain from Hexbane Hunters, along with the Witch Hunters. A couple of Warhounds. 
my collection of flagellants from Games Workshop, love those. And some zealots, a little bit more simpler looking, but good models as well. And here we have our printed models. Now, as I started priming these, I knew I was going to go in with a dark primer and then coming in with a zenithal from above. And here you can start to see actually the warrior priests are looking kind of nice in my opinion. More than ever when it came to painting these miniatures, I think I felt a certain need for them to be quite homogenous. It felt like these witch hunters are, I mean, let's be honest here, they're quite crazy people and crazy people, you know, like to hang out with other crazy people and I'm sure that they dress alike. But when it came to the painting, I really wanted to keep it simple, so I used plenty of washes and just used layering as my preferred method of highlighting. And I don't know if it's the old man soul in me, but I really prefer this way of painting. I've discovered that contrast paints and such, I love it from sort of a theoretical point of view, but I'm too much of a messy painter to use contrast paints. They demand too much precision for me, so for me, I'm gonna go with the layering method. And when it came to metallics, I really do prefer Vallejo's model colors for the metallics. It's such a nice coverage while still being quite flowy. Alright, time to make our warband. Now, the thinking I went in with looking at the different statistics of a warband is that these peeps are humans, right? So, we know that their stats will reflect this, so no more than four as a starting stat. And we know also that they can have quite a varied makeup when it comes to weapons. The numbers you see in front of you are what the book tells us we can have in our warband. When I did some math on this, uh, I actually sort of started thinking about what is my starting warband and also where would I like the warband to go in the future. That's why I have actually painted up so many flagellants because me personally, I think that the zealots are cool, but they are not as good as the flagellants. My final math ended up with 498 gold coins spent, and here is my starting warband. A witch hunter captain, three witch hunters, a warrior priest, maximizing all of my heroes, two zealots, three flagellants, and one warhound. Now the last little detail was to determine which spell my warrior priest will get. A two, hearts of steel. Huh, how very metal. So this time around, I had no one to come over because I'm actually sick, as you might hear from my nice voice. But I figured I would still take the opportunity to put my table together. And I have to say, every time I do this, there's like a shiver going through my body of excitement. I love putting my Mordheim table together and seeing how my warbands or new terrain will look like. Here I've basically just simulated an encounter with some of the Skavens, and I think the way I'm going to be playing Witch Hunters is quite simply putting the Zealots and the Flagellants in the front line while trying to keep most of my Witch Hunters in the sort of second line trying to take pot shots, except for my Witch Hunter who has a big two-handed axe. He will probably join the front line and slash the infidels as much as he can. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of my patrons for their support. And a special shout out goes to my champion and legend level patrons. Andreas Wienberg, Bo Algren, Erik Hortman, 4DXP, Juan Marconesa, Lawrence Davis, Mad Nurse, Magnus Solberg, Light Kira 25, Leander, Niklas Svedenlind and Oliver Granlund. Thank you so much, good folks. Now, if you like this video, then YouTube suggests that you should have a look at these videos. Thank you so much, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.